The cancer treatment side effects of taste change and smell changes often means an aversion to meat, but it's really important that you find another high quality protein source. And today I'm doing that in the form of mushrooms. This makes a really attractive dish on the plate. It's a mushroom wellington, and it's supposed to having a beef wellington, or say I've seen even like kind of white meat wellingtons as well. I'm going to be using lentils, mushrooms and chestnuts in this. What we're going to do to start off with is these big mushrooms here. So these are just a normal field or cap mushroom and I have some Swiss browns. The great idea about this one is also that you can add in different flavours. So add in things that you actually really feel like or that you're craving because that's a, probably the trick to taste and smell changes when you're going through treatment is if, it, if your favorite foods are tasting really yucky, you won't eat them, but you really need to find something else. And if there's something that's surprising you, that you thought, oh, I'd never felt like that before, go for that every time, because you've got to take in nourishment. Now, let's get on with these. I'm going to pop these into the oven for say about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to cover them with foil because I want to retain the moisture within them. My oven on at about 180 degrees. I'm going to wrap these in foil. So into the oven for these. Right, the big mushies are in the oven. Now I'm going to go to stage one of the filling. What I've got here in this bowl, I've got some backpack chestnuts and I've got some parsley in there. I think I've got some thyme in there as well. I'm also going to use some of these leftover mushrooms. So basically what I'm going to do is just whiz them up to almost like a paste consistency or very fine. So we'll take the lid off here. I don't have a very long cord on this, so it's a bit, bit wobbly. I'm going to use all of this. And I'm just going to tear up the mushrooms, just do it really quickly. It is actually quite a moist paste in there. So that's exactly better than I'd hoped for actually. I have in here a tin of lentils. I'm using tin lentils, they're nice and moist. Um, I've got some fire roasted red peppers here, about one and a half from the jar. I've got some pistachio nuts, I've got some sage, an onion diced up. In here I have some frozen spinach. Uh, I've got some fig glaze and What's that? That's mustard and a bit of stock here. I also have a little bit of cinnamon, so that's gonna provide a little bit of Christmas spice in there. While the mushrooms are in the oven, we'll get on with the rest of the stuffing for the Wellingtons. Into this pan here, I'm going to put my diced onion, and I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in it this time. We want this to be as effortless as possible because energy is one thing so many people don't have during their cancer treatment. This is frozen garlic. So one cube of this equals a teaspoon of freshly ground garlic. So I'm going to use a bit of that into there too. I'm also going to put in a little bit of stock powder just for some flavour. And this just needs to go gently until it's cooked through. I'm going to add just a snippet of water to it as well. Yeah, so I have, as I said before, the lentils, tin of lentils in here. So I'm going to put this chopped up capsicum or red peppers, whatever you want to call them, they're fire roasted. I've got some pistachio nuts, because I love pistachio nuts, so they can go in. I think they're quite Christmassy and some fresh sage as well. In with that, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and I said about the cinnamon, so I'm gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon, so hopefully it doesn't all rush out at once. And I'm going to do a squirt of, I've got some big glaze here, because I thought that would just go nicely in it. Just a quick squirt of that. Last but not least, some mustard. Use whatever mustard you like. You just really want to mix all of this together. The onion and spinach has cooked down now. It's ended up looking like that and I've let it cool a bit so it's nice and cool. I'm going to add that into our lentil mixture. Now, you see I have some gloves on because that means I'm going to get my hands in and get them dirty. And I seem to think it's going to be a bit too moist. So what you want to do is just squeeze it together a bit. It's very moist. In this instance, I'm going to add the ground flax seed. The fresh bread crumbs would be, you know, a super alternative to the ground flax seed. Oh, look, I think that's going to be perfect. I don't want it dry, but look at that. That's just come together nicely. 
can make a little meat loaf out of this. Look at that, you just do that, done, into the oven, cover it with a nice sauce. Okay, well, I think that's actually fine now. Go and get the pastry and we can get these put all together and into the oven. Right, I have a sheet of puff pastry here. It's thawed, it's on a piece of baking paper already. First things first, this paste that we made up with the mushrooms and the chestnuts, nice and moist there. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to put it oh, about a third of the way in onto this. Now I don't want to be skimpy with it either, leave a bit from the ends. Let's just pop this on, it's still nice and moist. There we go, oh that looks lovely. Right, now these have come out the oven, cooled a bit. I didn't have to turn them upside down, they're just beautifully moist. I'm going to pop that one there and this one here and phase layer two, phase two is our mix, our lentil mix we made up before. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to kind of make it into a little ball, just gently put it around, a bit of egg wash just on the side here and around that side do is I'm going to take the pastry, it's going to have to be stretched just that little bit and I want that to come to there. Just going to tuck it in, risk it, let's see, I've, to I've stopped talking, I'm nervous, oh, I haven't done it too deep, we'll find out, right let's have a big it. Good lot of egg wash on this. And this is going to go into the oven. I have a fan forced oven, so I have it on 180 degrees at the moment. And I'm gonna have that in for about 25 minutes. If you need a smaller version of this, just make it up with my mushroom and halving the ingredients. There'll be plenty for two people doing it this way. Well, they're out of the oven and to say that I'm absolutely stoked about them would be an understatement. It didn't come apart with all that lattice work on top, so that's a bonus. Honestly, what is there not to love about this? Absolutely nothing. A mushroom wellington with a lentil stuffing, for anybody who has taste changes or smell changes, this is absolutely the bee's knees on Christmas day. If you're experiencing everything tasting overly sweet, I have a cranberry and cherry chia jam here. That would be perfect. Now, if everything is tasting bitter, you need to add a bit of sweetness to it. Over here, I have a maple spice pumpkin cashew cream. Use that like a gravy, you can heat it up and just pop it on just exactly as you would a gravy. Any veg will go with this, anything you feel like. Now, again, for veg, going back to the bitter taste, if you're having roast carrots, peel them. There's a lot of bitterness under that skin. Definitely peel your carrots. Top tip. Right, let's have a little slice in. Why don't we just go in at about here? Could probably do with having a slightly larger knife. Oh no, lovely. Now halfway through the cooking time, I did turn the oven up to 200 degrees Celsius and I gave it another egg wash. Oh, goodness me, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now there is another one to go. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Just wow. I'll have to show that to the overhead camera. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And again, the same accompaniments will go with this. It's got the same ingredients as the other one. I just need to have another look at that. Oh, Lordy. Okay, right. Lunchtime, I think. Look, I hope you really enjoy these. They're such a great alternative to a, to a meat, um, a white meat, a red meat, any meat really. And the amount of protein in it is extraordinary. So you'll, you'll get your nourishment out of those too.